Okay, factor negative 6x squared plus 12x. So remember the word factor can be used as both a noun and a verb. So use it as a noun first. We need to find the common factors or factor of the negative 6x squared and the 12x. Now, 6 times 2 makes 12, so I know the 6 can come out of both of these. And notice how you have a negative sign in front of the 6. I'm going to take out a negative 6. So negative 6. And then also I can see there's an x in common between the x squared and x. So negative 6 times x is the common factor. Okay, now what's remaining here? Well, negative 6x squared is negative 6 times x times x. So if I have a negative 6 times x, the remaining part is simply an x. So I'm going to put an x inside the parentheses. And 12x is 6 times 2 times x. And I wrote it as 6 times 2 because I know I'm taking a 6 out, and that'll leave a 2. It's just easier that way. What about this negative sign? See, if I'm taking a negative sign away from this positive 12x, I have to change to negative here. And then what's left is the 2. Okay, so what I did is I factored out the common factor of negative 6x. Or you could say I factorized. So basically this is, you're distributing backwards. And a good way to verify this is to use a distributive property to make sure that it multiplies out and simplifies to what you started with. So let's do that real quick. Negative 6x and then times another x is negative 6x squared. And then negative 6x times negative 2 as you're distributing from here to here. Negative number times a negative number makes positive. So it's going to be positive 6x times 2 or 12x. And that is what we started with, so we know this factorization is correct. Okay, so let me review this process. You want to look at each term and figure out the common factor for the terms. In this case, a negative 6 was in common and an x was in common. So then I figured out, okay, if I took out a negative 6x from both terms, what would be left? And the first term, an x would be left. Second term, a 2 was left. So that's where we have x and the 2. And the negative sign came from taking a negative sign out of a positive term, the plus 12x. If you wanted to, you could go step by step, and you could say, okay, well, I'll just take out the negative 6 first, and that would leave x squared minus 2x, and then you can go back and take out an x that's in common too, so then it'd be negative 6 times x, and then times x minus 2 like that. So you could do in baby steps if you want, um, if this all at once was too much. So either way, here's your answer. For the factorization, here and here, same thing. 